Magnus said you were unusually strong. <laughs> no matter. My mother, the crippled Fang, comes now. You will die here. A quick in and out should do it. <sighs> Vengeance upon all the softskins. Three softskins, and none of them put a scratch on me. The big one, he might have been dangerous were he not as slow as an ox. You think I ran in fear? I could see you were occupied. My mother was foolish to trust the lies of the softskins. You saw what has become of her. Human magelings tricked her into accepting their false promises of immortality. When I saw what they had done to my mother, I slew them all. They may call themselves that, but to associate those lying maggots with the greatest beings on the planet is an insult to dragonkind. They were mere slaves, bound to my mother's will through the power of this sword. It is Netherese in origin. A gift from the Archmage Magnus to seal our alliance, to sow death and destruction, to see this wretched human land tear itself apart. Magnus desires only to see the Zentarum dead. His whereabouts should not concern you. Your victory back in our camp was meaningless. Your, your only contact with this sword shall be of the swift and fatal sort. It holds power beyond your comprehension. You think you can challenge me, Karandas of the blood of Shashura? <laughs> <laughs>
What can I do for you? Hello again. Do you have news to me? A half dragon, you say? Such creatures are incredibly rare. I wonder what could tempt the mightiest beings in the realms to mate with the lesser creatures? I'm sorry, Hilrad, but I'm not sure this is the right time to discuss the mating habits of dragons. Yes, I am eager to see this legendary artifact. This sword is older than the moon sea itself. Of course, old friend. If anyone can tell us the true nature of this blade, it will be the Sentinel. I have heard legends of weapons such as this one. The Blades of Netheril, they were called. Each forged by one of the mightiest Arc Wizards of the Age, as the ultimate symbol of their arcane mastery. The strength of the magic imbued in this weapon is beyond anything I have ever known. It would take the greatest mages of our age combined, Elminster, the symbol, Kelvin Blackstaff, to even contemplate forging something so powerful. Then, old friend, the weapon must be entrusted to one who can keep it safe. I believe that has to be you. What say you? Maybe it would be better if... What was that? Something is burning. Sherilyn, help me up. Follow me outside. Words, witch. Where does your courage come from? I wonder. 
Perhaps your new alliance with the Order of the Crippled Fang has emboldened you. New alliance? What madness is this? Lies! Don't presume to trick me, Harper Snake. I saw the elves that accompanied the cultists that attacked us with my own eyes. Unlikely though the mage's claims seem, I somehow sense he is speaking the truth. Are you mad, old friend? No elf would ever consider joining the Order. Enough talk. The Order has come directly from Lord Fazur himself. Let us hurry to the center of town. The Zentarim will attack from the north. The Zentarim! I hear an elven tree! Take out the beholders first, and then worry about the mages. Well met. Hi. Well met. Greetings. Greetings. Well met. Warm winds and hello.
Hello there. Well met. Idiots! Nothing is going to stop us from raising Elven Tree to the ground! Damn you! Why must your kind destroy everything decent folk hold dear? Because we can. Because what you hold dear has less value than a hole in the ground. Be gone from Elventry. Leave us in peace. You are a feisty one. I like a girl with spirit. Leave her alone, Sans. You could have fled, old man. You have the power. Instead, you chose to die like everyone else. And for what? Malik, kill the old fool. No! Yes, time to die, little bird. Zalazar, I see you haven't lost your penchant for cruelty. What's this? Another Harper? Not quite. You don't remember me. I'm disappointed. Whoever you are, you'll die like the rest of these peasants. No, I will not die here. You had your chance, back in Gentle Keep. Met Magnus? The same. Send my regards to Gormstad. <laughs> quicker end than he deserved. Zalazar's death will send a message to the Zentarum they cannot ignore. I could not allow you to steal my vengeance. I should have killed you back in Vumar. You have grown more powerful since. A battle between us would level this village. I would prefer to avoid the death of yet more innocents. I did what was necessary. Karandas would have put every settlement in our path to the torch had I allowed him. Instead, I directed his fury toward the Zentarum. The Black Network deserves no mercy. Zalazar was with the group that attacked my home 40 years ago. He was young then, an ambitious mageling out to impress. I recall that he murdered my cousin while I cowered under a table. My father cast an illusion that allowed me to escape the attention of our attackers. I was the only one of my family to survive that night. The Sword Dominion is one of the few remaining wonders of ancient Netheril. Forged by a powerful arcanist of that age. Few creatures in the realms possess the strength of will of a Dracolich. With the crippled fang channeling the sword's power, I could raise an army. We targeted the most powerful cloaks of Mullmaster. The most battle-hardened red plumes. Even the priests of Sirak fell under Dominion spell, though they joined almost willingly. Their hatred of Bane and the Zentarum were already enough. I felt the crippled Fang fall. She will reform in time, but without her son and dominion, her descent into madness will be swift. As for the sword, you should choose your companions more carefully. We will meet again.
Come quickly! The Zentarum attacked the Swaying Bow Inn! made it inside this tap room. I had the situation in hand. Then Astar arrived, and behind him, Aramuth. As the last of the Zentarim fell before my magic, Astar went to secure the Netherese artifact. It was then that Aramuth unleashed his magic upon me. I was knocked to my knees as his arm became a tentacle that tore out Astar's throat. A tentacle? No spell, old friend. The only magic was that which disguised Aramuth's true nature. For he is a Malogram. Imagine a clan of shape-shifting wizards able to take the form of any creature or object at will. They are native to the Plane of Shadow, but sometimes find their way to the realms. It is fortunate that Malogram usually work alone. Such is their foul nature that they can barely tolerate each other. Then we must go after him. Not so fast, Sherilyn. This Magnus also seeks dominion, and is the Malagrim superior in the magical arts. You said Eremuth fled east? That is correct. Then we should head for Elmwood. It's the only settlement between here and Mulmaster. We can ask around, see if anyone witnessed that traitor pass by. What say you? I'm coming with you. You're going to need my help. Greetings.
there. There, stranger. I've not seen your face around here before. Be at ease, though. It's me, Sherilyn. Sherilyn? It's been a while, lass. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. My old brain has been so busy thinking about the death of poor Elenowin, I barely remember the smoke. Elenowin, Enrad's serving girl, was found dead over by the Temple of the Half Moon. Alla Moraine herself found her. I've ordered a temporary stop to all traffic entering and leaving the docks. Until Elenowen's murderer is found, she worked at the Stillwaters Inn. A serious girl she was, set on joining Salune's service. Though she liked to chat with any handsome menfolk that might have been passing through. Enrad Daleborn runs the Stillwaters Inn. Elmwood's Temple of Salune is modest compared with the larger temples in the Great Seas. But Alamarain is as devout as any who worship the Moon Maiden. You'd be better served speaking with Alamarain over at the temple. I've ordered a temporary stop to all traffic entering and leaving the docks. Pleasure to meet you. Hail and well met. Hello.
Hello there. get too many visitors in Elmwood, and I try to say hello to those we do get. Fortunately not. I heard about the chaos they were causing west of the River Lee. Aye. Go on. You'd be better have ordered a temporary pleasure to me. Oh, again? Then ask. Elmwood's only a small village. There's the inn, still waters, the Temple of Salune, the Grange, where what pleasure to meet you. Hi there. 